the Cullinan Free Brooch. The stones from the magnificent Skulin and Diamond are set in several pieces of beautiful jewelry, but my favorite is the delicate scrolling Skulin and Fibruch, which features the 18.8 carat heart shaped diamond in its center. It was made for Queen Mary by Carat in 1911, and it's one of the brooches the queens wear most often today. The Lafors Not Brooch One of the largest of Queen Mary's brooches is the striking Lafors Not Brooch, which she purchased from Garat in 1932. Huge Roberts called this the largest and leaf layers of her bows, bruise, and I couldn't agree more. It's somehow classic and modern at the same time. The Queen inherited it in 1953 and she's worn it for several major royal occasions, including the weddings of Princess Margaret and the Duke of Cambridge. The Love Trophy Color Queen Mary had this magnificent diamond choker necklace made for herself in 1901. Just after her father-in-law became King Edward VII, she instructed Gerard to remove diamonds from other pieces of her jewelry, including a pair of earrings and a set of diamond stars, to make the necklace. It has been in the folds for years, but beautiful new photographs on the jewel were taken in 2012 for the big huge Robert's diamond book, proving that it's still in wearable condition today. The Delhi Darbar Necklace After Queen Mary recovered the Cambridge Emeralds from her brother's mistress, Lady Kilmory, she had nine of the stones set with diamonds in a fascinating new necklace. Made of platinum and gold, the piece was made as a part of parlor of jewels to be worn at the 1911 Delhi Durbar King George V paid for the cost the set as 44th birthday present for his wife. The necklace also features the Culinary Seven as one of its mismatched pendants. Queen Elizabeth II inherited the necklace in 1953 and has worn it throughout her reign. The Emperor of Austria Brooch This large cluster of brooch, which features several layers of diamonds hugging a central pearl, was a gift to Queen Mary's mother, the Duchess of Tech, from Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria. Huge robots vividly refers to the brooch as a plated circle. It also has a detachable diamond chain with pearl pendants. This was one of the jewels that Queen Mary had to retrieve from Prince Francis' mistress. 
Lady Gilmore after his death. She bequeathed it to the Queen in 1953 and it's still worn today. Above, the Queen wears the brooch without the chain on the backs of her sons in Germany in 2015. The Cambridge Shafirs The Sparrow of Sapphires and Diamond Jewels was originally owned by Queen's Mary grandmother, Princess Augusta, Duchess of Cambridge. When it ended up in Queen's Mary collection, she supplemented the original jewels with additional sapphire and diamond pieces before giving the set to her new daughter-in-law, Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent. Today, the Kent still own some pieces but they've sold others including the set's original tiara. The Rose of York Bracelets This distinctive bracelet featuring a rose made of diamonds and rubies was Queen Mary's wedding present from the people of Cornwall. The central rose elements of the bracelet is detachable, able to be worn as a brooch or a pendant. The piece is one of the most statement-making bracelets in the royal collections and the queens who received it as wedding presents from Queen Mary in 1947 still wears it occasionally. Above, she sports it on her right wrist during a state visit from the President of South Korea in December 2004. The Aifa Tiara A lovely diamond's coco snake with a leafy floral pattern, this tiara was Queen Mary's wedding present from Lord and from Lady Aifa. The hollow shaped tiara is one of the few sparklers Mary didn't tinker with. The design was perfectly balanced as is. She bequeathed the tiara to her daughter-in-law, Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester. The Gloucester still have the tiara today and it made a lovely wedding tiara for Lady Rose Windsor in 2008. The Vladimir Tiara A classic tiara from the Romanov Imperial Court, Queen Mary purchased the Vladimir Tiara from the family of the late Grand Duchess Vladimir in 1921. The piece has been attributed to Bolin and it was originally made with a set of pearl pendants. Mary ingeniously had a number of the Cambridge Emeralds adapted as an alternate set of pendants for the tiara. The Queen still wears the mighty flag, which she inherited in 1953 regularly today. The Girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tiara
perhaps the most romantic and classic of all of Queen's Mary Sparkles, the girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tiara, was a wedding gift to Mary from a committee of British women. The tiara was originally topped by a set of upright pearls, which have since been removed. The queen received the tiara from her grandmother as a wedding present in 1947, and it has become her trademark diadem.